Hey everyone, welcome to TED Talk. Today, we will learn about 12 signs you might be suffering from PTSD. Today's discussion touches the lives of millions around the world. Post traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD. Whether you're someone who has experienced trauma firsthand, or you're here to learn more about how to support a loved one, this video aims to shed light on the signs and symptoms of PTSD. Number one, recurrent flashbacks or nightmares. Imagine you're going about your day. Maybe you're at school, work, or spending time with friends. Suddenly, without warning, you find yourself back in the middle of the traumatic event that happened to you. It's like a movie playing in your head, but you can't press pause or stop it. These sudden and vivid memories are what we call flashbacks. Now, let's talk about nightmares. You know those scary dreams you sometimes have when you're asleep? Well, imagine those dreams are about the traumatic event you went through. You might wake up feeling scared, sweaty, or even screaming. These nightmares can be so intense that they disrupt your sleep and make you afraid to go to bed. Number two, avoidance behavior. Avoidance behavior means trying to stay away from things that remind you of the scary or upsetting event you went through. It's like when you see something that reminds you of the bad thing that happened, and you want to run away or hide. This can show up in different ways. You might avoid going to certain places, like where the event happened, or even places that just remind you of it. You might also avoid doing certain activities or talking about what happened. It's natural to want to avoid things that make you feel scared or upset. But when it starts affecting your daily life and relationships, it could be a sign of PTSD. It's important to remember that avoiding things might provide temporary relief, but it doesn't make the problem go away. Number three, hyperarousal. Hyperarousal is like your body being on high alert all the time, even when there's no danger around. It's like feeling jumpy or nervous like something bad is about to happen. You might notice that you startle easily, like when a door slams or someone taps you on the shoulder. Your heart might race for no reason, and you could feel tense or on edge, like you're ready to run away or fight. It can be exhausting feeling this way all the time, and it can make it hard to relax or concentrate on anything else. But it's important to know that it's a common reaction to going through something really scary or upsetting. Number four, negative changes in thinking and mood. When you're going through PTSD, your thoughts and feelings might start to change in ways that make you feel sad, anxious, or just not like yourself. You might start blaming yourself for what happened, even if it wasn't your fault. You could feel guilty, worthless, or like you're a bad person. It might also be hard to remember things clearly or to concentrate on tasks like you used to. You might also notice changes in your mood. You might feel more irritable, angry, or numb. Things that used to bring you joy might not interest you anymore, and you might feel disconnected from friends and family. Number five, emotional numbing. Emotional numbing is like feeling empty inside, like you don't have any emotions at all. It's like a switch turned off your feelings, and you're not sure how to turn it back on. You might find it hard to feel happy, sad, or even angry. It's like you're just going through the motions of life without really feeling anything. You might also notice that you're not as interested in things you used to enjoy, like hobbies or spending time with friends. Emotional numbing is your mind's way of protecting you from overwhelming feelings but it can also make it hard to connect with others and enjoy life. It's important to know that it's a common reaction to trauma, and you're not alone. Number six, difficulty sleeping. Difficulty sleeping means just what it sounds like. Having trouble falling asleep, staying asleep, or getting restful sleep. It's like your mind won't shut off, even when your body is tired and ready to rest. You might find yourself lying awake for hours, unable to quiet your thoughts or relax your body. You might wake up frequently throughout the night or have nightmares that jolt you awake in fear. As a result, you wake up feeling tired and groggy instead of refreshed and energized. 
Difficulty sleeping can make it hard to function during the day. You might feel irritable, unfocused, or have trouble concentrating on tasks. It's like your body is running on empty because you didn't get the rest it needs. Number 7. Avoidance of Triggers Avoidance of triggers means trying to stay away from things that remind you of the scary or upsetting event you went through. It's like your mind wants to protect you from feeling those intense emotions again. These triggers can be anything that reminds you of the traumatic event, like certain places, people, smells, sounds, or even specific objects. It's like your brain has a warning system, and it's telling you to stay away from anything that might bring back those painful memories. Avoiding triggers might give you temporary relief, but it can also make it harder to heal from the trauma. It's like trying to avoid something scary instead of facing it and finding ways to cope with it. Number 8. Hypervigilance Hypervigilance is like being on high alert all the time, even when there's no danger around. It's like your body's alarm system is always turned up to the max. You might find yourself constantly scanning your surroundings, looking for any sign of danger. Your heart might race for no reason, and you could feel jittery or jumpy. It's like your body is ready to react to any threat, whether it's real or imagined. Hypervigilance can be exhausting and make it hard to relax or concentrate on anything else. It's like your mind is always on high alert, even when you're trying to rest or focus on something else. Number 9. Emotional Reactivity Emotional reactivity is like having big emotions that come on really quickly and intensely. It's like your feelings are turned up to the max, and it's hard to control how you react to things. You might find yourself getting really upset or angry over small things that wouldn't usually bother you. It's like your emotions are right on the surface, and it doesn't take much to set them off. You might also have trouble calming down once you're upset, and it can feel overwhelming. Emotional reactivity can strain your relationships and make it hard to deal with everyday situations. It's like your emotions are driving the bus, instead of you being in control. Number 10. Social Withdrawal Social withdrawal is like wanting to be alone most of the time, even when you used to enjoy being around others. You might find yourself avoiding social events, like parties or gatherings, because they feel overwhelming or stressful. You might also pull away from friends and family, even though you used to be close to them. It's like you're building a protective bubble around yourself to keep out anything that might remind you of the traumatic event. Social withdrawal can make you feel lonely and isolated, but it's important to know that you're not alone. It's a common reaction to trauma, and there are ways to connect with others and feel supported. Number 11. Physical Symptoms Physical symptoms are like when your body feels different because of what you went through. It's like your body is trying to tell you that something isn't right, even though there might not be anything physically wrong. You might notice things like headaches, stomach aches, or muscle tension. It's like your body is holding on to stress and tension from the traumatic event, and it's showing up in physical ways. You might also feel tired all the time, even if you're getting enough rest. These physical symptoms can make it hard to do everyday activities and can affect your overall well-being. It's like your body is sending you a signal that it needs help and support to heal. Number 12. Difficulty Remembering the Traumatic Event Difficulty remembering the traumatic event is like having gaps in your memory about what happened. It's like your brain is trying to protect you from reliving the scary or upsetting parts. You might find that certain parts of the event are blurry or fuzzy, like you can't quite remember what happened. It's like trying to piece together a puzzle with missing pieces, and it can be frustrating and confusing. Difficulty remembering the traumatic event is your mind's way of trying to cope with what happened. It's like putting up a mental barrier to protect yourself from overwhelming emotions. It's important to recognize that experiencing one or more of these signs does not necessarily mean you have PTSD. Trauma reactions can vary widely among individuals, and it's essential to seek support from a mental health professional for an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment. With the right support and resources, 
it is possible to manage and overcome the challenges associated with PTSD and reclaim a sense of safety, stability, and well-being. Thanks for watching TED Talk. Be sure to subscribe. See you next video.